Yo guys, welcome back to another video here at Trader Journey. Following on from the previous video where I was discussing the in the money um, scenarios when buying contracts and selecting correct strike prices. Today I'm going to be discussing the at the money um, scenario. So hopefully this will make a lot more sense following on from the previous video. So if you haven't watched that as yet, be sure to check it out. So let's get straight into this video. So talking about out at the money. So sometimes you might see me refer it to ATM just for short, just easier to type. Um, but it is referred to as at the money. So you can buy at the money put contracts as well as at the money call contracts. We confirmed that on the previous video. So they're, it, they, it's not separate. They, you can buy at the money put contracts and at the money call contracts. It is important to understand when to purchase an at the money contract and when to avoid them. Um, generally speaking, a lot of people use them for different types of scenarios, but I like to use them specifically for one type of scenario, but I'll confirm that in the next couple of slides. So add the money is simply when the underlying stock value equals the strike price of the contract. So much easier um, uh, sort of scenario to understand compared to in the money and out the money, but it's the stock price equals the strike price. It's as simple as that. So an example would be say Apple stock price is say a hundred pounds. You want to buy a at the money call contract day trade you would therefore need to buy a contract with a strike price of a hundred pounds or closest to the hundred pounds it is unlikely you'll purchase a contract exactly at the money because when you're buying your contracts the, the price is usually in between two two sets of strike prices so it's unlikely you'll get an exactly at the money contract but you'll be able to purchase a contract near enough to the stock underlying stock price so that is basically the definition of at the money um, when to buy at the money contract so similar to in the money there is specific scenarios i like to trade certain types of contracts or strike prices rather um, as a general rule i i buy at the money contracts when placing a day trade so not scalps not swings if i'm looking to enter a, a day trade and exit throughout the day um, you you would buy at the money contracts you will only be in the trade for possibly a few hours or any time throughout the trading day the reason why i buy at the money contracts when day trading is because placing a day trade is is that it better suits the risk profile of a day trade for buying at the money contracts this is different to scalping for instance that um, as you are in the trade for a longer period of time buying an at the money contract it would be cheaper and less risky to buy at the money than in the money now following on from the previous video again um, i mentioned that in the money contracts have higher deltas now at the money contracts don't have as a high delta but that allows for you to stay in the trade throughout the day if you are buying an in the money contract and placing a day trade for instance and say the, the underlying stock price went against your day trade um, you would lose money quicker you would lose money at a faster rate because of the delta now buying an at the money contract allows you to ride through those corrections um, during the day for the for the bigger move so it makes sense um, buying an at the money contract so I make mention of that in this point here when day trading with an at the money contract you can be in the trade longer and ride out any small corrections in expectation of a larger move but when day trading you can buy as few or as many contracts as you would like for at the money at the money contracts you you don't generally you don't go in heavy with in the money contracts when scalping you would maybe buy one or two but depending on your risk profile and your risk management strategy provided it correlates with that and you're not above any risk percentage then you can um, you can continue to to buy as many contracts as you would expect to there for that trade so that pretty much sums up at the money contracts and i hope that makes sense again if you've got any questions leave it in the comment section below or hit me up on instagram as i will be able to help you guys out there um we'll be soon announcing so much more information on the channel such as the community classes courses and and the website so all these announcements will come in uh, in the next week or so but again, if you've got any questions, just feel free to hit me up. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. Um, so that sums up today. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.